Hi there, this is Shelby with Deco Network Client Services. Um, I'm here today to talk about setting up a responsive website. So replacing one piece with another, um, basically switch, switching between two different views in desktop and on mobile. Now for the most part, Deco Network is pretty much all entirely responsive, but let's just say that you have an image, um, for instance, this uh, red leather background or whatever it's supposed to be. Um, and you really love it on desktop, but then when it scales down onto mobile, you're just not a, as big of a fan of it. Um, or let's say you you know really like this font in this size on on desktop, but not so much on mobile. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're actually going to disable this entire row um, in the mobile editor. So the issue here first first off is that there's multiple views. So with rows, there's a little bit of a different responsiveness view, but the first thing I'm gonna show you is like individual um, widgets because they have they have a slightly different view. So when you go into the button widget, we're gonna click the drop down, click button settings, go to responsive properties. You can just make them hidden or visible. And, you know, it's fairly simple. Um, you can put in some additional HTML or CSS, you know, however you wanted to do it. Um, sorry, it's CSS specifically. Um, you can put in additional CSS here. Um, you can assign custom classes and you can set specific visibility rules um, depending on other factors. Um, I don't recommend it necessarily. Um, I don't recommend doing the visibility rules unless you have a solid understanding of Boolean logic. Um, but as far as the responsive properties, anybody can make those changes. So, but what we're trying to do is get rid of this entire row. So we're going to go to the green menu, use the drop down, go to row settings. And then we're going to go into responsive properties and I'm going to drag this over here. Now you see how it looks on desktop. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on advanced mode. We're going to go to manual and then uncheck the box here. So it'll say not visible. Now, if it says anything else or it has this green box around it, that means it's still there. Um, if you want to make it the same on tablet, you can. So just manual and then uncheck. It's really, you know, up to you. Um, but I'm going to leave that one in line. We're going to hit OK. Now, to verify this, we just go into the mobile device view and we see it's completely gone. So we're going to go back to desktop. Now, we got rid of it, but I mean, you saw how awkward this looks because we're just jumping straight into how it works, not even telling you who we are, really. Um, I mean, my, my logo's up there, but I mean, Irene Adler could be getting into the, I don't know, winemaking business. Who knows? Um, so we're going to be going over here to wide monitor. We're going to go to widgets, and then we're just going to add another column. Um, we're going to go to here. It's just creating an empty row. We can always edit how wide the column is if we really want to. Um, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you how you want to do that. Um, we're just going to leave it as is. I'm not particularly worried about the width of this particular, um, this particular row. Um, so basically what we've done is we've created a row. We're going to add in a background color. Um, let's say that we just want to make it red, right? And, you know, it's not the prettiest because again, I'm by no means a graphic designer. So we're going to do that. And then let's say that we want to add in some text. So we'll go to widgets. We'll grab the page title, um, put it in the middle. It will pull an automatic title, um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to say, welcome to Adler Designs. And we're going to say, okay. Um, and then we can make any changes to it that we want to. Um, now it will base it on the standard design here, but we're not going to go too terribly into that. All of it's in the style editor, um, which I think we have videos for. And if we don't let us know, we'll be happy to make one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to make it a little bit wider so it'll pop up how we want it to. Um, and then up here, we're going to use the row settings. And just like up, up at the top one, we're going to go to our responsive properties. We're going to go into advanced mode and we're going to uncheck this same as page layout. Now it will give us a, a, a an error of sorts. It's not really an error. It's more of a warning of a, you know, you can make it look kind of funky. Um, so, but we're going to hit yes. Um, and then we're just going to uncheck that. So then down here, we can go into manual under our mobile view and then click the checkbox, hit okay. 
And so now you see it's not really visible on our desktop. So if we go into our mobile, there we are. There's our title. So if you're trying to, and you can do this vice versa, if there's something that, you know, you really don't want to show on one, you can show it on the other and, you know, you can kind of change things around. It does allow you to have multiple options for how your site looks. So again, let's say that, you know, you really, um, you do a lot of business, I don't know, designing the bottoms of skateboards or something, right? Um, and by the way, if you do that, let me know. That's really cool. Um, but let's say that you design the bottoms of skateboards. And, you know, on one view, you may want to have your designer up front just so people can just go straight into it. But then on another view, you might want to have some of your pre-decorated products or, you know, some of your pre-built designs so that they can kind of customize. You can do that. You just drag in a new widget and, and, and make each row hide itself based on what they're looking at. Um, so anyway, so if you do happen to run into any problems or, you know, maybe if this video helped you, feel free to like it, share it, whatever. Um, you can subscribe to our channel. We always appreciate that. And it will help you keep keep updated on, you know, whenever we do updates for Deco Network, um, any kinds of instructional videos that we create or even some marketing videos, you know, really up to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful. If you do have any questions or anything, go to deconetwork.com. Um, if you're asking, you know, if you have any questions on how to do this, you can go to deconetwork.com help, and we will be always happy to help you. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.